Hey everyone, it's Jenna. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we are going to be organizing my pantry. And for those of you who are familiar with this channel, you know I like to combine aesthetics with function. And that's actually not the goal of today's video for once. When it comes to storage behind a closed door, for me personally, I just really like to focus on making it budget friendly, functional and approachable. So that's kind of what we're gonna be working with today is just some simple organizational tools. We're not gonna go out and spend hundreds of dollars on pretty glass canisters to line the shelves or anything like that. I just wanna make this space function a lot better than it does and we're gonna to try to do that in a couple of simple ways and working with the space we have. So I'm gonna show you all the before and just so you know, things have gotten pretty bad in here. Mike keeps being like, we need to organize the pantry. And I'm like, I know, but I wanna film a video on it and just wait one more week and then other videos keep popping up and we're left with this mess. So it's gotten pretty bad. Okay, so this is what we're working with. And like I said, things are really out of control here. Truly, we cannot even step into the pantry because there's just so much stuff covering the floor. And some of the big everyday problems that I really wanna fix include our plastic bag situation. They're just shoved in wherever and I just wanna have a designated spot for them. And our condiments and canned goods are hardly even visible. And I end up buying doubles of a lot of things just because I think I'm out and then I find it in the back a week later. On the floor area, I've collected some organizational bins during sales, but they are quite literally collecting dust. So we need to put them to work. And as you can see, we have a lot of reusable bags that I keep on hand and they're just a mess. So every time I go to grab some before I head to the grocery store, it's just a challenge. And same thing with the dish towel situation. They used to be organized, but since things got out of hand, they are also hard to get to. So I really just want to clean this area up and make everything a lot more organized and accessible. So the first place I wanted to start was with our spices. And when I need a specific spice while cooking, no joke, I'm usually searching for that spice for a good 30 seconds with how things are right now. And not to mention the fact that they take up a ton of space. So an area that was going totally unutilized was the back of our pantry door. So I figured if I was able to use this space in a practical way, it would free up a ton of clutter. So I found this adjustable door rack at a salvage discount warehouse for $30 and started putting it together. So just by doing this, I already gained a ton of extra shelf space to hopefully make the pantry feel a lot less cluttered. And one thing that I love about it being on the back of the door is that I typically find myself leaving my most commonly used spices strewn across our countertops. So I love that this is within arm's reach and I can easily just stow them back away and close the pantry door. So nothing clutters up the countertops, but they're still easily accessible. The only thing that I did notice right away that was kind of annoying was that the rack would hit against the back of the door when shutting the door so I temporarily taped it with painters tape which totally worked but this rack did come with hardware to drill it into the door I just wanted to wait until Mike was home from work just to confirm that he was cool with drilling holes into the door so next it was time to sort through the spices and I know a lot of people like to buy uniform spice holders and then label them themselves and I think that looks super pretty but personally I didn't want to pay for them and and sometimes I like to know what brand something is. So when I'm needing to repurchase it, I know what store to go to. So I just kept everything in its original container and sorted them out into groups. So that way I knew where to look when searching for them. So the categories I came up with were greens, spicy reds, baking, specialty mixes, and basics. I also thought it would be fun to do some mini spice awards and one of my favorites is this chipotle chili spice. It has a smoky flavor to it and I always mix it in with some Greek yogurt or sour cream and then lime juice to make a yummy crema for tacos or quesadillas. And then I also love this brown sugar bourbon seasoning. It is so yummy on pork chops or chicken. Thank you. 
After I organized all the spices, I was excited that I still had quite a bit of rack space left to use for other things. So I added some aluminum foil, some baggies, and other everyday items that would be convenient to have within reach of the swinging door when I'm prepping or packing food. And then I also used the top two racks more so for storage. And I put things up there that were a little heavier or that I use less since they were so high up there. And that completes the door rack. This seriously was such a game changer in freeing up that pantry space and keeping things easily accessible and a short reach away from our countertops. Next, it was time to clear out the rest of the pantry so I could go through everything and eliminate all of the buildup, expired items, and things we probably won't use or eat anymore. So finally everything is cleared out and it feels like I should be done but unfortunately this is now what our kitchen looks like. So I'm gonna have to go through everything and kind of get rid of the stuff that we don't really use and donate that and then edit it into categories so that we can put it back in the pantry in a way that makes sense and is super functional. So I'm gonna get started on that and then we will put everything back in the pantry. So my goal for this next part was to make little categorized sections for all of the items that I reach for every day. And I wanted to store them in a way where they were easily accessible and closer to the door of the pantry and then use the area closer to the back wall for any extras or storage. And I wanted to start with the bottom and put a lot of our heavier things down here, like our dog food. So I just put the extra bag towards the back and then used our rolling container in the front so that we can easily just open it and scoop during mealtimes. I also put our emergency water jugs towards the back and then I added in the heavier boxes for our cans and soft drinks and I also found these plastic bins on Amazon and I put two of them on the shelf so that we wouldn't have to dig down into the boxes when we're getting our soft drinks but we could just have them easily accessible and within reach ready to grab in the mornings when we're heading out for the day. Now if you remember before our reusable bags were all over the place and just really hard to get to so like I said in the beginning of this video I'm all about making this organization as budget friendly as possible so I just reused the box from our wall rack and I cut the sides off with a razor blade and then folded all of our bags and used this as a makeshift organizer and I like this a lot because it was a slim profile so it really didn't take up a ton of space and I could just push it up against the wall and it held everything all nice and neat and another thing that I did to save on space was use this bag saver and this was great because it utilized wall space that would have otherwise been wasted and this is awesome because when we have extra bags we can just shove them in here and easily access them when we need to use them for packing or donating or whatever and another thing that I did was go through our hand towels and sort out all of the seasonal ones because for so long the seasonal ones were just in there with all of them and I honestly didn't realize how much space they were taking up and how many I had collected over the years so I just separated those and stored them away in our seasonal bins so I can bring them out at the right time. I also used some more of those bins to store the heavier canned items that I don't use too often. And I don't know what it is about the fall, but I just think I get excited and buy way more cans of pumpkin than I actually need. So this year, pumpkin baking party at my house, but I just left the one next to it empty to have room for future purchases. And I think that's something important to keep in mind when organizing is just to always leave yourself room to store more if you can, because that just makes the space feel a lot more versatile and usable. So now moving on to the shelves, you'll remember that we had that mess of storage bags. So because we were able to move a lot of them to the door rack, it freed up some space in this area. And I just put the remaining bags in a disposable pan that I needed to store anyway. And with mostly everything, I feel like it makes a difference to contain each little section. So I just used this dough bowl that I had left over from decorating and I used it to store our chips since sometimes these corner spaces can be awkward. And I figured this was a good way to use it. Next, I wanted to make 
like a little coffee section since I use my Keurig K-Cups and sweetener every day and I hated digging around through the pantry for them. So I just used this little bowl that I already had and I put my sweetener packets in it. And again, I just use the area back by the wall for extra storage. So it kind of feels like a little storefront display. And I love this because it looks organized and it makes accessing these in the morning super easy and quick. Next, I used this little storage bin that I found in our attic space to contain all of our pastas. And if you can't already tell, I'm just trying to use things from around my home to contain everything. You can use extra cooking bowls you might have laying around. You could thrift some containers. You don't have to go spend a bunch of money on fancy bins to get an organized feel. Next, I found these plastic turntable bins for super cheap at my local grocery store. I will try to link similar ones below, but I just use these to store our remaining canned goods and I just set them in there with the label facing forward so when I'm doing inventory checks before heading to the store, I can easily see what I have. And I also have extra room behind the turntables for storage just in case I need to stock up on anything in the future. Now, before I had previously tried and failed to organize my spices on a plastic riser and it didn't work because things got put in front of it so I couldn't see the labels and there was just too many spices for the riser to hold. So I decided to reuse the riser in a more practical way and I used it in the corner of our shelf. And while this isn't the most space efficient, I figured it would be the most functional because I'd be able to see everything and I was able to actually put the tall condiments in the back, medium in the middle and short in the front so everything was easily visible and accessible. So because this shelf was at eye level I figured it would be a good spot to make a little grab and go breakfast section so again I just used the bowl that I had laying around and I put all of our miscellaneous breakfast snacks in there and I also organized our many Kodiak cake pancake mixes so it was all in one spot and easy to grab in a pinch. Another thing that helped me out big time when organizing this space was consolidation. If I had any doubles of things that were open, I just consolidated them into one container and it just helped make everything appear a lot more minimal and usable. So another tip if you are short on containers but you still want things to look as organized and grouped together as possible, you can just flank the containers, meaning you use a container on either side of non-contained items to help give it a more organized look and feel. And by this point, I was very clearly running out of bins, but I had this extra baking pan that I never use because the one that I do use has a plastic lid. So this one just takes up space in our cabinets. So I thought it'd be perfect to organize my baking items in. I also used this extra mug that I had laying around to hold our barbecue skewers so that they are tucked in the back but easily accessible for the next time that we grill. I also grouped all of our baking mixes into a spare basket to again just make use of this awkward little corner. And then I had a literal pyramid of tea boxes that had previously taken up so much space so to consolidate I just put them in this clear glass container that I got on clearance at TJ Maxx and that way I can see how many I have left left of each flavor and they hardly take up any space at all and I also popped some rice bags into this bowl since I do make rice quite often and I like that these were easy to see and grab and still looked aesthetic and organized in this bowl and that is it that is how we took this overcrowded pantry that barely functioned because you could hardly see or access most of the items or even walk into the pantry and now we have a clean floor that you can walk into easily find and access daily items and it doesn't feel too crowded or cluttered and has room for more storage if needed. Utilizing the space on the back of the door was a game changer and really cut out a ton of clutter while making everyday items more accessible and by making sure that everything was visible, easy to grab, and that there was room to grow, we've changed the functionality of the space for the better and I am never going back. All right, everyone, that about wraps up this video. I hope that you enjoyed seeing this little pantry organization video. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up because it really does help to support my channel. And make sure you're subscribed because I post new home decor content every single week. And I'm also very active over in my community page. I post things like sales, new arrivals, and restocked items. So that's another benefit of being subscribed. And if you have any pantry organization tips that I didn't mention in this video or that you like to live by, definitely leave them in the comments below. I just wanna thank you 
you all so much for watching this video and I hope you have a fabulous week and I will see you all in my next one. Bye!